Sam, hello. Hello, happy Easter. Happy Easter to you as well. How's your day been so far? I mean, the kids got up at five for their hunt. There you go. That was super annoying. I'm not even gonna lie. Hi, Heather. Heather, hello. Um, Heather, you could talk to Colby about getting me up at five o'clock <laughs> this morning. Oh, I can't hear you. You're unmuted now. Okay, got it. You can talk to uh, Lydia about the same thing. <laughs> they came in and I was like, are you kidding me? Right? No, please. <laughs> oh, That's what just because it's nice to have a change of pace. They're so excited. Uh, <laughs> Wait Hi, we're... Noah. Hi, how's it going? Good, how are you? Not too bad. Happy Easter. Thank you, you too. Thank you. Thank you. Happy Easter. Hello. Darcy, how's it going? Hi, Noah. My husband, Daryl. His son, Jed. Oh, we got the whole crew working out today. Hello, Hello nice please. to meet you. That's all out. And happy Easter. Oh. My TV work. All right. Well, welcome to uh, Deck Cards Workout. Um, I'll uh, give people another minute or so to come in. Um, but what we're, all we're really going to need today is our body weight, add if you need it, and um, some dumbbells if you have some lighter dumbbells. Uh, resistance bands will also work. Um, there's other variations if you don't have either of those as well, um, that we'll make do. We'll make do with what we got. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and mute everybody now. I promised I shuffled the deck this time. I feel like Adam always stacks the deck so you get like tens on top of tens on top of tens. So I made sure it's shuffled for everybody. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and mute. Oh. And we'll get started to get warmed up. Awesome. I mean, camera difficulties. So we're gonna start with our arm circles. We'll start with our arm circles here. Awesome. Welcome everybody. Just joining. Today we it's gonna be mostly body weight. There's gonna be a little bit, a little bit of dumbbell work. Resistant bands will also be fine. Um, if you don't have either of those. Um, we can do body weight alter, uh, alternatives. So we'll have a fun time. Be a whole lot of fun. And reverse those circles. Whew. And we'll just do some chest openers now. Whew. Tell you what, I did, Adam, Adam did an extended long Saturday morning workout yesterday because uh, because Friday was crazy with uh, everybody losing power and that sort of stuff. For some reason, I was not affected here. I'm so surprised. I always seem to lose. Always seem to lose my power. But we had power all day, and so I did the workout. And now we're going to be doing some swim through the air, just up and down with the arms. And so he made it extra long. It was uh, we did our full hour workout, and then he added uh, like half an hour core session on the end of it. I tell you what, I have, like, I can barely feel my legs today or my core. If you uh, want one of the best workouts I think I've ever done, you go right on and look at that one. All right, and now we're just going to go into some side lunges here. You can pulse if you want, stretch out, stretch out the inner, and thigh a little bit. Awesome. So today, after this workout, we do have a, a little recovery one. Um, it's going to be shorter, so it's going to be 20, 30 minutes long. Um, very similar to the ones that we do on Tuesday nights and Thursday nights, if anybody's been doing those. A whole lot of fun, nice little time to get relaxed and um, get on with your day. Um, just pretty much some balls and foam rolling and some stretching. All right, and one more each side here. And just do a few bodyweight squats right here. Just getting the hips and knees warmed up a little bit. Whew. And just a couple more. 
Awesome. And our last warm up move, what we're going to do is we're going to do the single leg deadlift with a reach. So the same, we're going to be standing on our left leg. We started. We're going to reach forward and back with our right arm and right leg. And we're just going to alternate. So then we're going to do the same on the other side. Just 10 of those, 10 of those. We test the balance this morning. There you go, straight out. That's perfect. So five on each side. 10 total, and once you're done, we'll get, get on fun stuff. There you go, nice balance. Nice balance. I promise I'm looking at all of you, but you know, I'm, I'm just, plug, you're just plugged into my uh, computer screen. <laughs> uh, plugged into my TV screen, sorry. So it doesn't look like I'm looking at you, but I see you all. All right, so now we're just gonna get warmed up with the core stuff. So we're gonna be starting on the forearms, right in the plank. Planking on the forearms, keeping that core nice and tight. Squeezing the abs, squeezing the glutes. Just the regular warm up. We're gonna do 30 seconds of each, and we're gonna go into a full plank and some side planks. All right, everybody ready? And go. There you go. Keep that corner nice tight. Perfect. Perfect. I was not the happiest camper this week when we got all the snow. I was like, I'm stuck at home and snowing. Just, it wasn't a great combo, but and now I'm looking outside this morning, it's like almost all melted in this field behind me. So I'm actually pretty excited right now. Three, two, one, and relax that hip plank on the forearms. Now we're gonna do the same thing, but except we're gonna bring it up on the hands. We're gonna bring it up on the hands right here. Still keeping that core nice and tight. Squeezing, squeezing the glutes, squeezing the core. 30 seconds. And go. Boom. Oh. I feel like Adam has this like ingrained in everybody's head by now, so I don't really even have to explain it, but it's just a way of life here at Adam Clark Fitness. Halfway there, keep it up. Three, two, one, and relax. So now we're gonna be taking on a side plank from here on the side, you need to do this on your forearm or on your full extended hand. Um, and we're gonna be here, either stacking the feet, bring the hip up as high as we can can, or you can even, another variation, bring the knee down just up, just like this. Boom, so we'll be holding that again for another 30 seconds. Ready, and go. Awesome, looking good everybody. Oh, we got a Got an animal want to helping out with those planks. Dog trying to help. Yeah. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're gonna flip it to the other side and do the same exact thing. And then we'll be almost done our core warm-up. Ready and go. Just another 30 seconds. It's another 30 seconds here. Awesome. Keep squeezing. Keep squeezing. Halfway, halfway through this last round. Boom. Nice work. Three, two, one, and relax, and relax. So this last one, we're just gonna be doing our dead bug. So we're gonna be on our back, squeezing the core into the mat, and we're just gonna be doing opposite leg, opposite arm, just like this. And that will finish up our core warm up. Ready, set, and go. Awesome, nice control with these, nice control. Nice. Looking good, everybody. Looking good. 10 more seconds here. Five, four, three, two, and relax. Awesome. And if you need a quick drink of water, go right ahead. Go right ahead. 
we're gonna get on to the the real the real stuff now. You guys feeling feeling lucky today? Are we gonna get a good draw? Are you gonna get all the tens in a row today? I don't know. I feel like Adam always stacks the deck. So our first round, our first round here. So as as it happened in the past, aces are aces are one. So if I pull an ace of whatever suit, we're gonna do one of those exercises. If I pull a face card or a ten, we're gonna do ten of those exercises. Um, if I pull a seven, we're gonna do seven. Um, so I will be reading off what we'll be doing. But for our first round, hearts. If I pull a heart out, what we have is we have a broad jump. So we're gonna be here, right here, jumping forward, sticking the landing. That is one. Then we're gonna turn around and do it again. Um, if you don't have a whole lot of space, what we can do here is we can just do four little little jumps. So we, this would be one, two, just like that. If space is limited, we do broad jumps. That those are hearts. Diamonds. So diamonds are going to be. This is where a dumbbell comes comes in handy. We're gonna be doing side raises. So if you if your dumbbells are a little too heavy or if you don't have enough resistance bands, we'll also work to put one foot on it. We should take it out to the side. Just like that, right to shoulder height. If you don't have any of that stuff, you don't really need a whole lot of weight with this. If you have soup cans or whatever you have, something a little weight, spring out to the side, will kind of be the same thing. I mean, if you wanna grab a dog or a cat, it might be a little too heavy, but. So that's gonna be diamonds, side raises. Then we have spades. Spades are going to be a little bit of core work. We're gonna be right in that plank position, right here. And we're gonna be just doing some shoulder taps. So you can bring the feet out a little further and we're just gonna be alternating shoulder taps. So those are, those are our spades. And then clubs, the last one we have here, you know, everybody loves, loves hopping. So we're just gonna be here, we're gonna be doing pogo jumps. We're just gonna be working the, working the calves a little bit, getting the cardio up on that one. Whew, I'm already out of breath. So those are our four exercises here. Another option for the pogo, the pogo hops are just some, just some heel raises, so just some calf raises. Just like that, you don't have to hop. Any questions? Nope, all right. We'll get started, I'll cut the deck in half. And we'll get started. All right, the first card is, you can also, yes, 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 and you can also do a squat instead of a jump. That will work perfectly fine. First card is five of clubs. We'll be doing five pogo hops. Or heel raises. Next card, you can add nine more onto there. We got a nine of clubs, nine more. Pogo hops or heel raises. Awesome. Next one after those nine are done, we got two of diamonds. That is going to be two of the dumbbell side raises or resistance band side raises or soup can side raises. Whatever you got, don't need a whole lot of weight here. Boom, looks great everybody. Awesome, had to crush those out. Awesome. And now we can add seven more. Don't drop those dumbbells just yet. We got a seven of diamonds, seven more of those. Awesome, nice work. Carolyn, that looks great. And crushing it. Ben's making it look too easy. Awesome, we got a fun one coming up. We got a 10 of spades. It's going to be 10 plank taps. So we're gonna be in that plank position. Just tap, 10. That's gonna be, uh, one to five to each shoulder, five to each shoulder. Oh, Darcy got a whole whole uh, crowd joining you. All the dogs. Boom. Nice work. Nice work. Next card. We got another ten. A ten of hearts. That's going to be ten of those long jumps. Um, some of the broad jumps. So we're gonna be here doing one, turning around. Another option. You can just do smaller jumps, or you can do just a body weight squat. That works as well. Um, so we got 10 of those. Awesome. They stick to landing. They stick to landing. Perfect. Okay, and then you're crushing it. Boom. Nice work, Sam. 
Christine. Boom, oh, looks great. I only see half the time. Don't jump to that wall. Boom, I really am sorry to do this to you, but we got add nine more on the end of that. Nine more on to the end of that. So we got nine more of those broad jumps. Or just bodyweight squats works just as well. Let's get that heart rate rate going. Almost there. Almost there. Oh, nice work. Way to stick to landing. Way to stick to landing. All right. Our next one we have, once you're done with those uh, broad jumps, we have eight of clubs. That is going to be eight pogo hops or calf raises, heel raises, whatever, however you want to call them. Just right here. Boom. And you can add three more onto it to make, to it, make it 11. Boom. Next one we have, we have uh, Ace of Diamonds. That's going to be one dumbbell or resistance band side raise. One of those. Perfect. Now we have a two of hearts. That's going to be two of those broad jumps. Two broad jumps or two body weight squats. And you can add five more. Five more. We got a five of hearts. Once you get those seven broad jumps out of the way, we're gonna be moving on to some core work. We're going to be doing 10 of our shoulder taps. So we're gonna be in that plank position, doing 10. We got a queen of spades. At least we won't have any of the hearts from the last one anymore. And you can add four more to those planks. Four more. Got four clubs. Or four, uh, I didn't mean to say clubs, spades. I don't know how to read cards. Next, we have an ace of hearts. We're going to be doing one broad jump, one broad jump, or one body weight squat. Awesome. Way to stick to landing. Way to stick to landing. Nice control. It looks great. Next, we're. We have a queen of uh, clubs, which is going to be 10 pogo hops. 10 pogo hops. Boom. Looks like we're, we're almost warm. I can't, I can't steal Adam saying, but it looks like we're almost warm. We have the six of spades. There's going to be uh, six of those plank taps. So we're going to be back, back on the doing some more core work here. Oh, and you guys are gonna love this next one. You're gonna love this next one. There you go. Try not let those rip, hips rotate too much on those. That look great though, look great. We have a seven of hearts. That's gonna be seven of those broad jumps or seven body weight squats as well. Or seven linear, just little linear jumps. Got a lot of options here, a lot of options here. Boom, we stick that landing head, it looks great. Christine, boom, crushing it. Carolyn, nice. And that was too easy for you, that was too easy for you. Boom. There you go. Ooh, we got a, it looks like an Olympic athlete over there, Darcy. We have a 10 of diamonds next. We're gonna be going to some shoulder work. So we're gonna be with the dumbbells. We're gonna be bringing it to the side, right, right coming out from the side, right to shoulder height. We have 10 of those. Boom. There you go, that looks good. Sam, it is so dark over there, but it looks like you're crushing that. You looks like you're crushing it. Nice, nice. Those plates, you're using like full on plates doing that. Um, and next one we have, guys, next one we have is a jack of spades. So we're gonna be back 10 more of those plank taps, 10 more of those plank taps. Um, well, I think the hardest part of this workout is just going up and down from the planks to the rest of it. Boom, keeping that core nice and tight. Try not to let those hips rotate too much. Nice control here. Boom, looks great, looks great. And you can add one more. We have an ace of spades. One more to those planks, sorry. Make it get up and go back down. 
Um, next one we have is a uh, club, a uh, jack of clubs. So we're going to be doing 10 pogo hops. 10 pogo hops. Boom. That looks great. Looks great. We're almost there. We only have four cards left. Four cards left. This is the last of the broad jumps. We have 10. We have a 10 of hearts. That is going to be 10 broad jumps. Boom. Or 10 bodyweight squats or 10 linear jumps. How do you want to do it? I promise you that is the last round of the of the uh, broad jumps. I think next round is going to be even more fun, even more. Fun. Boom. We're almost there. A few more broad jumps. A few more broad jumps. Nice work. Way sick the landing. Don't go jumping through the. Uh, screen there. Our next one we have is a 10 of spades. So we're gonna be doing 10 more of those plank, plank tap. Uh, yeah, plank taps. Do a tap in the shoulder. There, that's perfect. 10 more of those. And that will end the plank taps. And our last two cards, are both diamonds. We have a six and a nine of diamonds. So we're gonna be doing 15 of our dumbbell resistance band side raises. I think everybody has dumbbells. So that will finish off this round. So we're gonna be doing 15 side raises. Well, shoulders gonna be killing a little bit, but not too bad, not too bad. Well, I was really summoning my inner Adam today. I'm wearing Under Armour top and an Under Armour bottom. I was like, Man, it's not gonna be here. I gotta, I gotta represent somehow. I gotta represent somehow. Nice. Looks great. Looks great. Nice control with those. Awesome. And after that, we finished half the deck. Grab a quick drink if you need it. Grab a quick drink if you need it. And we'll go on to our second half of the deck. We'll change up our exercises. So this next round, this next round, Hearts. If I pull a heart, we're going to be doing squat jacks or another just bodyweight squat. So we're going to be here. We're going to be coming up, coming together, just like that. So you get some more lower body work here. Another option is you can do a squat and come up on the toes. Squat and a little calf raise. Another option or just a bodyweight squat. That works as well. Next one, if I pull a diamond, we have a few options here. So if you have heavy enough dumbbells, you can lay around your back, and we're going to be doing a dumbbell, a dumbbell chest press. So we're going to lay around your back, dumbbells pushing right up. If you don't have heavy enough and you want to make it a little more challenging, we can do a push up. Put me on the front here. Just doing a push up. You can also do a push up around the knees. And if you can't do any of that, you also can do a resistance band chest press if you can tie it around a railing or something along those lines. So there's some options there. Just doing some upper body chest work with that. That's diamonds. Next one we have is spades. So if you end up having spades, spades are gonna be some core work once again. We're gonna be doing the opposite of this stuff. So we're gonna be on the hands and knees. We're gonna be doing plank jacks. So we're gonna be coming in and out with our feet. Just like this, I'll give you a better view of turn around. Boom. So jack, just like this. Keeping the core nice and tight. Another option here is just stepping now. You can just step out to the side. So those are plank jacks. Our last one is clubs. If we get a club, what we're gonna be doing here is just some lateral hops. So we're gonna be just doing a squat, jumping to the other side, just like this. Boom, another option here is you can just go little side to side hops. Just little ones on a line, so don't trip on a mat like I just did. Or if you want to do another option, just some quick feet, you can just go over and back on it. Over and back. So those are our options. Whew. I was getting my own workout today. I should have worn my, my zone. Whew. All right, any questions before we begin? No. I'll stop talking then. I'll stop talking. I'll let you get on with the workout. All right, to get started, we have a two of spades. We're going to be doing two of those plank jabs, jacks. Two plank jacks. There you go. Keeping that core nice and tight. Boom. 
looks good. Nice control and looks great. Next one, we have a queen of diamonds. So you're gonna be either doing the push up or doing the uh, dumbbell chest press. Dumbbell chest press. Boom. Hello, genius. You got your own little uh, bench press table right there. Ben getting the resistance fan out. Perfect. Perfect, Darcy. That's great. Nice push ups there. Boom. Boom. We got 10 of those. Just getting that upper body warmed up a little bit. Nice control with these. Boom. I'm going to fully lock out those elbows. Awesome. Our next one here, we have eight of hearts. Eight of hearts. There's going to be eight squat jacks or bodyweight squats with calf raise. Boom. We're getting that cardio up, getting some lower body work in. Boom. And once those squats are out of the way, next one we have, we're going back to those dumbbell chest presses. We have a king of diamonds. So either the push-ups or the chest presses, we're going to be doing 10, 10 more of those. There wasn't a whole lot of diamonds last round, so I feel like that means your chest is really going to be feeling it after this one. Um, so I do apologize in advance. But. Oh, nice work. Christine, good push-ups, good push-ups. Nice control. Nice. Nice, everybody. All right. Once you're done with the, the chest work, we got a three of hearts. So we're going to be going back three, three of the um, squat jacks or squat with a calf raise. Going back to that. Oh, I'm going to put this one a little bit further in. I don't think you guys want that one yet. All right, and next one we have is a three of spades. So we're gonna be doing three plank jacks, three plank jacks, or planks with the step, the uh, step out to the side. Those are our options there. After those three plank jacks, we have an ace of clubs. We're gonna be doing one lateral hop, one lateral hop. Right here, one lateral hop. Just going right to the side. Boom. Well, Next one we have is a six of hearts. We're gonna be doing six of our squats with squat jacks or six squats with a heel raise. Boom. Six of them, nice work, way to go low. Boom, looks great. Next one, seven of spades. We're gonna be back to the plank jacks. Seven, seven of those. Boom, as I said before, I think the hardest part is getting up and down. Boom, nice work, Sam. Nice work, Sam. Boom. Nice plank jacks, everybody. Let's crush that. And sorry, you all are back up, but we got nine more. We got nine more of those plank jacks. Nine more of those plank jacks. Boom. Looks great. Looks great. Boom, you crushed those, Carolyn. Nice work. Nice work. Next one, we're going to be back with the diamonds doing the chest work, either the push-ups, the resistance bands, or the dumbbells. We have four, just four of them this time. Boom. Nice. Nice work. Boom. Next one we have, we have a five of spades. We're gonna be back in our plank position doing plank jacks. We have five plank jacks or five uh, step outs, tap outs, whatever you want to call. Boom, we keep the hips nice and level. Looks great, looks great. Boom, let's get five of those out of the way. We're on to clubs, we have four clubs. Those are our lateral hops. Those are our lateral hops. So a little, little bit of squat, just jumping right to the side. Boom, last time we went forward, this time we're going to the side. Boom. Boom. I'm sorry to do it to you, but we have a jack of diamonds up next. So we have 10, either the push-ups, the chest presses, um, with the resistance bands or the dumbbell. We got 10 more of those. If, if I'm not very good at counting cards, but I think that is the last 10 of diamonds in this. I think we've done them all in the past like three exercises. Boom, just 10 of them with nice control. Nice control. Boom. That looks great. 
Darcy, you all are, uh, getting pretty creative over there. You're all doing a little something different, still getting that chest work in. That's perfect. That's perfect. Next one, we have four of hearts. Four of hearts. That is going back to our squats, either our squat jacks, their squat jacks, or the squat with just a little heel raise. Boom, just getting that heart rate up. Just getting that heart rate up. That looks great. Looks great. We got about like 10 cards left. I'm just guessing here. We have a seven of clubs, seven of clubs. That's going back to our lateral hops. So we have seven lateral hops this time, seven lateral hops. Nice work, everybody. Woo. We're almost warm. We're almost warm. That's my variation of Adam saying, because I'm not allowed to say the, uh, we're just getting warmed up. Don't tell him I said that. Five of diamonds here. Five of diamonds. We're going back to the uh, chest work. We have five push-ups or five of the resistance band dumbbell presses. Those are options there. Say we're running pretty low on the diamonds. Sam, we're running a little bit low on the diamonds. Awesome. Once five of those are out of the way. Once you get five of those out of the way, we have 10. We have a jack of hearts. We're doing 10 of the squats, either the jack, squat jacks, or just the, oh, anyway, squats with the Eores. Boom. And we only have eight cards left. Eight cards left. Boom. Once you get those 10 out of the way, once you get those 10 out of the way, we got some more clubs. We have six lateral hops, six lateral hops. Boom, really stick the landing here. Stick the landing, boom. Carolyn, that was, that's good. And crushing it, nice work. Ben, that was a pretty quick feat. I feel like, boom. And sorry to do it, we got 10. To add 10 more of those lateral hops. 10 more of those lateral hops. We got 10, 10 of clubs, 10 of clubs. Boom. This will be our last rounds, last rounds through with each exercise, actually. Last rounds through with each exercise. Next, a 10, of, a, a eight of spades. So the eight of spades, we have eight of our jacks, our plank jacks, or we on our hands or on our forearms, just doing a plank jack. Eight of them, and we are done with those. We are done with those. We're not done with our core work, though. Boom. Once you get eight of those out of the way, our next two cards are both diamonds, so we're going to add them together here. We have an eight and a three of diamonds, so that's going to be 11. We have 11 push-ups or our chest work, and that will finish off, finish off that. Boom, so either 10 or 11, I mean, resistance band chest presses, dumbbell chest presses, or push-ups. 11 here. This is our last one. This is our last one. I'm sure our chest is feeling pretty warm. Boom, say. Nice work, Sam. That's great. That's great. Heather crushing it. Ben pushing through. Perfect. Perfect. Eleven of those. Once you got all eleven cranked out, we're gonna be moving on to our clubs. We're gonna be finishing up our clubs. We have a king and a two, so I'm gonna combine them together, and we have twelve clubs which are lateral hops so we have 12 lateral hops and that will finish off our lateral hops as well well now we just have one card one card left boom nice work nice work once you get all 12 of those out of the way once you get 12, all 12 out of the way, our last card here is a queen of hearts. That means 10 squat jacks or squat with a heel raise to finish off round number two. Um, grab a drink if you need it. Grab a drink if you need it. 
Just got a couple more rounds. A couple more rounds here. All right. So this first one's gonna be a little bit quicker. It's gonna be a little bit more, a little bit more, uh, um, a little less core, a little more demanding. So with your dumbbell, um, we're gonna do two, two exercises here. One of them is going to be our dumbbell hold in a curl. So we're gonna be right here, holding the dumbbells right out in front of us. We're gonna be holding that, holding that position. We're gonna go through two rounds. Our first one is gonna be quite long. It's gonna be 60 seconds. We're gonna hold that for 60 seconds. Then we're gonna lay off. And then we're gonna go through a round of 30. Our other exercise we're gonna be doing, I think everybody has a wall. So we're gonna be doing a wall sit. We're doing a wall sit. I actually don't even have any free walls that you can see in the vision. We're gonna have the back flat against the wall, holding that position. So we have 60 seconds of that and 30 second rest. Boom, any questions with that? No? Resistant bands also work for this. If you need a little bit more, a little bit less. All right, we got 60 seconds. Ready and go. Boom, we're just holding that there. Just holding that there. Boom, getting creative with some ankle weights there, Karen, okay, that's perfect. Ooh. It's too easy for you guys. I should have made it like three minutes or something. Could hold this all day. <laughs> Christine. Boom. Make sure we're not dropping those hands. That's perfect. That's perfect. I feel like if I told you how far I am, you guys, you guys would uh, not like that. So I won't tell you until we're pretty close. Keep holding. Keep holding. Awesome. You guys are crushing it. You guys are crushing it. Ten more seconds. Ten more seconds. I have not lost my timing capabilities. I promise. It's been a few weeks, but three, two, one, and relax. Boom. Boom. All right. Now find a wall. You got a spare wall somewhere or a pole or whatever you got that you can rest your back on. We're going to be holding that deep squat position. We got 60 seconds. Looks like everybody found a wall. Ready. And go. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, way to go low. I assume not everybody gave up. It like, looks like everybody walked out of the screen, but I think you're all hiding. Oh, no, and you're just hiding behind a lamp. Just kidding. I see you. Awesome. You guys are crushing. Keep holding that. Keep holding that. You're earning that. Easter dinner, if you got one, I definitely, I'm having Easter brunch. I got some French toast I'm so excited for. That is what is getting me through this morning. Almost there, almost there, let's keep it up. Keep holding that, keep holding that. 10 seconds, 10 seconds. We're almost there. Five, four, three, Two and relax, relax, guys. Woo! I'm gonna be a little upper body, lower, lower body burn. We're going back to the dumbbells. We're gonna be holding the dumbbells. This round, we're only gonna be doing 30 seconds, so 30 seconds. After this round here, we're gonna do a little core work and we'll finish off with that. Oh my, right. everybody got their dumbbells or resistance band, whatever they're using. Ready? And we'll hold that position. 30 seconds here, 30 seconds. Looking good, everybody. Looking good, looking good. It's gonna be a quick one, it's gonna be a quick one. Already halfway there, we're halfway there. Five, four, three, two, and relax. And relax. Hold those weights right down. And we'll be back back to the wall. Back to the wall. So our last 30 seconds of these. Last 30 seconds here. All right, 30 seconds of wall. Sits starting. And now. Awesome. Just crushing this. I should have made it. Definitely should have made it longer. You guys could have done this all day. 
Should we, like, how do you all hold like kettlebells while you're doing this or something? 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Let's keep it up. No legs are burning a little bit, but be worth it. Three, two, one, and relax. Boom. Done with that. Done with that. Next thing we're going to go to is some core work. Some core work. So grab a drink if you need it. We're going to be doing a little mini, mini, I don't know if we call it a time glider of some core work. So the first one we're going to do, we're going to be on our back. Right on our back. We're going to dig the heels in and we're just going to hold the bridge. We're going to hold the bridge right here. Just holding the hips up as high as we can. We're going to be doing that for 45 seconds. We have 45 seconds. We're going to be holding that bridge. And then the next round, we're going to be going and doing leg flutters. So you can put your legs, your hands right under your legs. And we're just going to be fluttering our legs here, just like this. Higher you do it, easier it is. Lower to the ground, the harder it gets. And we have another 45 seconds. So we're going to go through both those. All right, on our back, holding that bridge. Ready, and up. Awesome, we just got 45 seconds here, nothing too crazy. If you feel like it's not hard enough, feel free to throw like a 100 pounds on your lap or something, I don't know. Really squeezing those glutes. <sighs> Looking good. And those hips up as high as we can. Boom. Crushing it, crushing it. We're almost there, we're almost there. About 15 seconds left. Keep those hips up, keep squeezing, keep squeezing. Five, four, three, two, and relax. Drop the hips back to the ground. Next one we have is we have leg flutters. So we're gonna be right on our back still. You can put your hands on the ground or under your, uh, under your butt if you need to. And we're just gonna be keeping the legs out straight, bringing them up and down, just like this. Boom. And we have another 45 seconds, another 45 seconds. Are you ready? And go. Boom. There you go. Try to keep those knees as straight as we can. And we can point the toe right towards our head. Make it a little harder if we need it. Ooh. Got some low feet here. Looking good. So keeping that core tight, pushing down into the mat. Oh, keep it up, keep it up. There's about 10 seconds left, about 10 seconds left. I know the core's feeling it right about now. So keep those legs nice and straight. Three, two, one, and relax, relax. Oh. All right, next we're gonna be, this one's gonna be pretty easy, almost like a rest. We're gonna be up in that plank. We're gonna be holding plank position, up on the either hands or forearms, whatever you prefer. We're just going 45 seconds, 45 seconds here. Let's get in that core, let me squeeze it, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the, squeeze the core. All right, we got 45 seconds, ready, and go. I'm sure most of you could hold this pretty much all day. Could break the world, the Guinness World Record or something. I don't know. I definitely couldn't do eight hours of playing, but there you go. Make sure we keep that core squeezed. Squeeze the glutes. Boom. Nice. Looking good. I think I can bounce a cup of coffee on everybody's back right now. We're almost there. We're almost there. Keep squeezing. Should be shaking a little bit. Three, two, one, and relax. Boom. Next one, we're going to keep that position right there. We're going to be right in that plank position, and we're going to be doing mountain climbers. So we're going to bring the knee right up. Make sure we're not bringing the leg out to the side. We're just going straight forward, getting the knee as close to the mat as we can. we got 45 seconds of mountain climbers. All right. Ready. And go. Boom. There you go. There you go, Heather. Looks great. Sam crushing it. Boom. 
There you go. See how low we can, how close to the mat we can get those knees. How close to the mat can we get those knees? So hold in that position. So hold in that position. We're almost there. We're almost there. Keeping that core nice and tight. Ooh. You guys are crushing at five, four, three, two, and relax. All right, now we got one more round through. We're just gonna be doing 30 seconds. So just 30 seconds here. We're gonna be back on our back. We're gonna be back in the bridge position. And we're gonna be squeezing those boots. We got 30 seconds here. 30 seconds this round. All right, ready and up. Awesome, let's keep those hips off the ground as high as we can. Dig the heels right into the mat. Awesome, looking good everybody. Looking good. A quick round here, quick round here. Nice, nice. Five, four, three, two, and relax. All right, we're back in that plank position. We should be holding that plank. Another 30 seconds here, another 30 seconds. Boom. Feet as close as they can together. As close as they can be. Oh, uh, leg slider. Sorry, guys. You guys know what I'm talking about. I don't know where it's out. I'm so asleep, I guess. I see half of you doing the right thing, and I'm. Phew. All right, 30 seconds. Ready. And go. Trying to give you a round off or something. Can't have that, I guess. Nice work. Nice work, everybody. Pushing that core down the mat. Boom, we're almost there. Five, four, three, two, one, and done with the flutters. Now for real this time, we're gonna be in that plank position. We keep the feet as close as we can together. Keep squeezing the core, squeezing the glutes. Boom, 30 seconds. Ready, and go. Boom. Holding that position, looks good. Boom, you guys are crushing that, crushing it. Ten seconds, ten seconds. Keep, keep squeezing, keep squeezing. Three, two, one, and relax. And now we got 30 seconds of those mountain climbers. 30 seconds of those mountain climbers, and we'll be done with round two. All right, ready and go. 30 seconds here. Actually, that dog really wants to help you out with those mountain climbers. At least he thinks they look like a lot of fun. Three, two, one, and relax. Boom. We got one more round, 15 seconds. 15 seconds each. It's only be a minute, minute of work here. It's your last minute and we'll be done. We'll start with some stretching. Back on the back, we're gonna hold that bridge. We're gonna hold that bridge 30 seconds, or 15 seconds, sorry. 15 seconds. Ready, and go. There you go. Keep those hips up. Dig the heels into the ground. Dig the heels in. Really squeeze the glutes. The hamstrings are feeling a little tired. Try focusing on the glutes a little bit more. Three, two, one, and relax that bridge. We got leg flutters. I'm not skipping them this time. Leg flutters. 15 seconds. Ready, set, and go. Boom. There you go. Keep that core nice and tight. Looks great, everybody. Looks great. Keep pushing through. We're almost there. We're almost there. Five, four, three. Two and done. And done. Boom. We'll bring it back on the front. We got 15 seconds and just keeping that plank. Just keeping that plank. Ready, set, and go. So last round here. Just really squeeze. Really squeeze that core. Boom. 
Nice work, everybody. Three, two, one, and relax. Boom. And now last one here. 15 seconds of mountain climbers and we're done. 15 seconds. Boom. All right, ready, set, and go. Boom. Let's get those knees close to the mat. So last one here, still keeping that core nice and tight. Nice, nice. Three, two, one, and relax. Boom. This is easy enough, easy enough. Grab a drink if you need it. Grab a drink if you need it. And we will start our cool down. I'm gonna mute you all. We'll sit and put our feet right together. And we'll start stretching. I'm just gonna unmute everybody if I can figure it out. There we go. Might be a mistake if you all start yelling at me or something. Oh, I'm gonna move my camera down so you guys can see. We're right here. Feet together. Hold that stretch there. So in 10 minutes, we got a recovery class right here. Give me a different link if anybody wants to do some foam rolling and that fun stuff. Put a leg out. Do a little bit more some stretch and yoga stuff. Kind of some fun cool down. We'll be pretty quick, 20 minutes, half an hour. Next Monday, tomorrow, I guess. I don't know what day is anymore. Lost all track of time. We have um, four classes, I think, we, or three classes. We have a uh, morning one at 6, a... 12 core blast, 12 o'clock core blast, and then a five o'clock um, upper body, uh, lower body, lower body uh, strength workout. And got has all those. I think he still has a happy hour at 7 p.m. tomorrow night. I don't think he got rid of those. Um, kind of go and talk, see what's going on, catch up. And it'll we'll take a leg behind us here. I had a whole lot of fun with my first deck of cards workout. Hopefully it wasn't too bad. Hopefully. Yeah. Still want me doing them after you don't hate me because of it. I shuffled the deck this time. And we'll switch legs here. And we'll pop it up. And we'll bring our arm right across our body here. And switch sides. And we'll reach right overhead. Right side, can't see. And the other side. And round it out. Whew. And we'll finish with open up the chest. And done. Well, thanks everybody for joining me. Thank hope you guys so enjoyed much. It. Happy Easter. Happy Easter to you as well. I hope you all enjoy the rest of your weekend. And it looks like it's going to be a nice day. So we'll be out for a walk or something. I don't know. I'm going to be Thank excited. You. Day, so. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye, Heather. Bye and bye.